All right, Oklahoma State goes to TCU this coming Saturday. The winner gets pole position in the Big 12. This TCU team, quite frankly, is the team that I think a lot of us, at least over here, expected Oklahoma to be. Dynamic offense under a coach with his first year in that program, and they're playing pretty solid defense as well. For Oklahoma State, this is their separation Saturday. They've been hovering right around that top of the Big 12 conversation for a while now. They're always in the race when it comes to November. They were, let's call it what it is, like a couple fingernails away from winning the whole thing last year. That goal line stand by Baylor is kind of what did it. This is their Saturday where they prove that, no, we are the big dog in the Big 12. TCU, you're a great story. Kansas, you're a great story. Kansas State, you're a great story. But we're going to assert our dominance right now. We've got a mature quarterback. We're going to take care of business. Separation Saturday for both programs. For Oklahoma State, stakes feel pretty high. Which defense can create more possessions? It sounds funny to say, but both these offense are humming like over 40 points a game from both these programs. Quite frankly, I think the difference is which defense can steal a possession. They're both averaging about a takeaway a game. I'll just say this. If one program can get two turnovers, I think that's the team that wins the game. Maybe it's not quite as black and white as that, but with a game where I don't expect there to be a ton of stops, I think whoever can give their offense more bullets will have a better chance to win the game. It sounds simplistic. That's just the way it goes, though. Both these offenses have been on fire, both averaging, like we already talked about, over 40 points a game. Can the defenses be opportunistic enough? It doesn't have to be a bunch of stops. It doesn't have to be a stonewall kind of defense. Can you create more opportunities for your offense? Heck, We'll go ahead and group this into it. Special teams. Can special teams be a difference maker? Because I feel like it's a stalemate offensively. Both are going to try and run it up. Which of those, whether defense or special teams, can make the difference in this game, especially in crunch time? Keep an eye on that. Also, what's the tempo of this game? Because we just said it. They're going to score. I think that the over is going to hit easily. For TCU, they're averaging about seven yards a carry as an offense. They're a team that can, if they want to, slow it down. Now, they don't typically do that. That's not really how they get down down there in Fort Worth. But if they want to, they could easily, I say easily, they would like to, I would imagine, be able to keep the ball out of Spencer Sanders' hands. Now, maybe they want to push the tempo and just put pressure on them that way. But if they were to slow it down, what does that do to the rest of this game? If they have the ability to do that, what does that do to the gameplay effect? I think that's something to watch for because for Oklahoma State, they are good, not great in terms of what they do defensively against the run. And I think if TCU can take advantage of that, again, it's not horrific, but I'm just saying it's not necessarily a house of horrors. There could be some opportunity there for TCU. On top of that, if TCU did slow it down, let your defense rest. I mean, that is such a luxury to have, especially in this game where there's going to be a lot of points scored, to have a 10-play drive, 9-play drive, let the defense get some Gatorade, a little oxygen mask action. It only increases your chances of being able to, like I said, create more possessions for your defense and be able to get more stops for your defense. I mean, that is ultimately, I think, a really, really big deal in this game as it goes to unfold. Our prediction for this game. Here's the deal. I have just seen Spencer Sanders over the years, right? Since he was a freshman, and he's, he's been special at times for Oklahoma State. I want to make sure I say that. To the same token, I have seen on many an occasion, Spencer Sanders willingly, eh, willingly is harsh, I have seen him multiple times gift the football to the other team. 12 interceptions, 16 touchdowns was his stat line a year ago. Now, a lot of those came against Baylor. They kind of had his number, but the number still stands. It's not a great ratio. I don't know that I still trust him. To be honest, I still think that the reversion, the regression of Spencer Sanders is still out there. This TCU team is going to put pressure on that offense to score like we talked about. Could be a track meet kind of event. And then on top of that, the back end of this defense isn't great. Like I, I talked a little bit about what TCU can do running the football and how that could be a hinge point in this game. But on the back end, Oklahoma State's allowing 342 pass yards a game. 131 FBS teams, that puts them right smack dab at 130. Translation, Houston, we got issues in the back end. Just the way it works. Oklahoma, we might have problems. 
Oklahoma State, rather. Quentin Johnson is a freak show. He is a guy that you are going to hear a whole lot about when you start drafting for fantasy football in a few years here as just a touchdown machine. He went berserk against Kansas. I would expect an encore from him in this game. Max Duggan and company would anticipate that they run a little bit to set up the pass. Quinton Johnston will have a very big game in this football game, and I think that's the reason why TCU wins. That's just, you can't allow big play after big play and still expect to keep pace. And again, my own reservations on Spencer Sanders are why I feel that way. So to put it shortly, I think that TCU wins this game 38-31, to and the Frogs take pole position of the Big 12 Conference. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.